but we are definitely seeing some weather that we are certainly not used to here in the San Antonio city here. We are definitely seeing some wet, colder conditions here, something that we're very much not used to seeing here. Temperatures outside are at 46 degrees in San Antonio, but look at the panhandle up at 39 degrees. Marfa sitting at 34 degrees. And as we head to the eastern portions of Texas, we see Austin at 44 degrees and Texarkana at 45. But factor in that wind chill, we do have a little bit of a wind out there. The temperature here is 43 in San Antonio, 30 in Abilene. And as we head on to the west, El Paso sitting at 40, where they did see some snow flurries and some snow showers today. And Marfa sitting very, very cold at 23 degrees. What we have going on right now, we have the high upper level low spinning counterclockwise in the western portion of Texas around the Lubbock area sitting off into Del Rio. And it is bringing some heavy rains as we saw earlier today here in San Antonio. Officially here at the airport, we saw 70.75 uh, inches of rain officially at the airport. Now that rain is starting to head on to the east and bring some more showers and some thunderstorms into the, west, into the eastern portions of the state of Texas. Now that's going to persist for the next couple of uh, hours as it persists going on into the east. And in the big picture right now, again, we see that big upper level low bringing some sh uh, snow showers still into the Lubbock area and going to continue again shifting off into the west. But the next big uh, weather maker that we have is going to be this cold front that's going to be sliding uh, down into the central portion of the United States. And that's going to bring us our next shot of some big weather here in San Antonio. But look at the temperatures right behind that front cut. Bank, uh, Montana sitting at 23 degrees, 17 in Casper, Wyoming, and 28 degrees in, Ca in Denver, Colorado. Now we are finally seeing some of that cold Arctic air making its way into the central portion of the United States. Future Tracker is showing the clouds starting to decrease as we go into the overnight hours, clearing into the eastern portions. We are going to see some hit and miss uh, clouds activity as we head tomorrow morning and it's gonna be the sun shining in and out for the most part of the day. But at five o'clock, those clouds will clear out and it'll be finally good seeing some sunshine here in San Antonio. But Thursday, we see that cold front finally arriving. This is gonna be our next big weather maker and we are gonna see some likely snow showers up into the hill country around Kerrville and yes, definitely here in San Antonio as well. We do have that possibility of seeing some snow showers here. But as we go on into Thursday evening, that cold front is gonna push all the way south and again, we're going to see some very, very cloudy and very cold and frigid conditions here in San Antonio. But for tonight, rain ending, cloudy and cool, 43 degrees, with a west-northwest wind of about 5 to 15 miles an hour. Tomorrow morning, definitely bundle the kids up. It'll be 58 degrees, sunny in the afternoon, with a west-northwest wind of about 5 to 15 miles per hour. As we take you on to the next five days, we'll see Wednesday, we'll see those clouds start to increase again for the most part of the beginning portion of the day, but they will fizzle out with the 58 degree high. Thursday, those clouds will return with the approach of that cold front, and we see those showers and snow showers here for Friday, and we'll see a high of only 35 degrees. And as we take you on for the remainder of the weekend, and for the start of the weekend, I should say, we should see 49 degrees on Saturday with clouds lingering at the end portion of the day after a hard freeze of 27 degrees on Saturday morning, and on Sunday, we we should recover very nicely, mostly cloudy conditions of 60 degrees and a low of 40. Well, today was definitely one of those days that brings in that holiday spirit and one where you kind of want to sleep in. We're seeing temperatures right now relatively cool. It's raining outside, so it's right about the perfect weather that brings in that holiday spirit and brings in that kind of uh, weather that we like to see during the holidays. Right now, we have a temperature of about 55 degrees in San Antonio, but look at Amarillo sitting at 17 degrees. They have the passage of the cold front that we'll be talking about in just a bit, but Houston sitting at a comfortable 68 degrees and the warm spot right now in Brownsville at 73 degrees. Area wide right now, we have again San Antonio at 55 degrees, Hondo sitting at 48, and again Corpus Christi sitting at 64 degrees. What we had going on today, we had those low clouds that kind of stayed around the San Antonio area, again bringing us those very overcast conditions, kind of bringing us those uh, scattered showers that we saw earlier today. And again, that's going to be associated with that low that's going to try to continue to push off towards the east, bringing very heavy rain towards Tennessee and Mississippi and Alabama. They're seeing some very uh, widespread uh, thunderstorm activity. Again, some of those could be severe. We have some tornado warnings right now in the northern portions of Louisiana and Mississippi. And it's going to continue to push off towards the east and continue to bring some heavy, heavy snowfall into the central portion of the United States. But that cold front is going to be right again uh, the northern portion of Texas right now. It's going to continue to move on towards the south, and with it, it's going to bring that very uh, cold Arctic air. Look at Cutbank, Montana, sitting at negative 12 degrees. These are current temperatures. These are not wind. Uh, these are not wind speeds that we're seeing right now. Negative six in Casper. Negative uh, one right now in Denver, Colorado. And again, as we go out through the week, this is going to continue to push southward 
Right now we do have that warm front, but it's going to be overrun by this next cold front again, and we're going to see very cold conditions move in. And we're also going to see our winds pick up. If you notice these contour lines that are associated with this cold front right here, the closer these are together, that means the higher our wind speeds are going to be. And as this cold front blows through, it's going to get a little bit more compacted, and that means we're going to see those brisk wind conditions for the next couple of days. High pressure will be in control for much of Thursday, and as we move on into Friday, we should see some beautiful weather over the weekend. For your daybreak, again, those northern winds are going to be very noticeable as you wake up in the morning, 15 to 25 degrees. It'll be miles per hour, excuse me, partly cloudy and windy of about 44 degrees, so you definitely want to keep the kids bundled up in the morning. For your afternoon, again, partly cloudy conditions. It will be continue to be windy, about 15 to 25, and we'll see an afternoon high of about 58 degrees. For windy again, for Wednesday, again, we'll see partly cloudy conditions going on into Thursday. And Friday, we'll see mid to upper 50s right now. And Friday, we'll kind of see temp uh, a day like today where we saw overrunning conditions and we'll have those sprinkles outside and we'll have a low of about 39. But as we go on into Saturday and Sunday, again, temperatures should rebound rather nicely where the highs will be in the low 70s and the lows will be in the mid to upper 40s. Well, San Antonio saw one last day of those very bright sunshines for us here, and it's going to continue as we head on to the next couple of days. We're just going to see a couple of stray clouds move into the area out ahead of a next cold front. But with that next cold front moving through, we're going to see much better conditions for us here in San Antonio. But currently outside right now, we have a temperature of about 60 degrees in San Antonio. Down to our south near Brownsville, we have a temperature of 64 degrees. Abilene sitting at 57, same as over there in El Paso. And up in Amarillo, we have a temperature right now of about 51 degrees. As we head on to the little bit portion of our, into the better half of our viewing area here, we have a temperature of 63 in, in Pleasanton, 60 in Hondo, as well in Uvalde. Junction sitting at 57 degrees. And again, as we head further south in Corpus Christi, we're seeing a temperature of about 62 degrees. Now, the thing we're going to be tracking for the next couple of days, we're going to start seeing that wind shift from the north, and it's going to start moving in from the south, bringing in those humidity levels. That warm Gulf moisture is going to be bringing in that warm air. And again, those hum dew point levels are going to start to increase. Corpus Christi right now sitting at 58 and 55 in Beeville. Now, these numbers are going to start to increase as those south winds start to persist. And again, the higher these are, the higher our temperatures will go as well. What we're going to see for the next couple of days are the clouds starting to move in from the west. And again, these are some high clouds that we saw this evening. And again, those are, as this storm system moves a little bit towards the east, our cloudiness will increase as well. The Climate Prediction Center is tracking El Nino. And what they're saying right now is that San Antonio and for the good southern portion of the state of Texas is we're going to see below normal temperatures with this uh, with this El Nino factor. And for January and March, they're predicting very below normal temperatures for us here in San Antonio. And as we look at the precipitation, they're also saying that we're going to have above normal uh, precipitation levels for January through March. Now with El Nino, we start to see some of that Pacific moisture make its way towards the uh, lower portions of the United States. And Texas is going to be included in that. And with that, they're going to uh, say we're going to see very much uh, higher levels of precipitation as we go on through the next couple of months. Right now, not very much going on throughout much of the United States. We're seeing a couple of snow and wintry mix up here in the central portion of the United States, and that's going to be pushing on its way towards the east right now. But the next thing we're going to be looking at is the next cold front that's going to be headed right about right here. It's going to be pushing on its way towards the south, and it will be our next weather maker for us here in San Antonio as we move on to the next couple of days. Right now, we're sitting at 60 here as we head a little bit further north, 53 in Oklahoma City, but Fargo, North Dakota, sitting at 8 degrees, very, very cold up there, and Cutback, Montana sitting at 24 degrees. And look at Miami, Florida. We're actually warmer here in San Antonio than Miami. They're sitting at 59 degrees right now. And again, we're going to be sharing some of that cold weather as we move for the next couple of days. But for right now, we're seeing that humidity level kind of increase here again. That's going to be due to the southerly wind, cold conditions up here and to the north right now. But as we move forward in the next couple of days, we have a cold front here that's going to hang out right through Tuesday, but we're going to be watching this next cold front kind of slide in, and it's going to be reinforcing, and it's going to push that cold air right on through San Antonio, and we're going to see high pressure in control by Friday. That cold front sweeps through the area, and we're going to see high pressure control here, and again, very, very nice conditions for us here in San Antonio. But for tonight, increasing cloudiness with those clouds coming in from the east. We'll see a temperature of about 54 degrees, south wind of about 10 to 20 miles per hour. And for tomorrow, again, we're going to see a, spray, a stray sprinkle, that is, coming in with those clouds and it'll be mostly cloudy with a 70 degree temperature and a south wind of about 10 to 15 miles per hour. For your next five days, Wednesday, there is that chance of showers and thunderstorms. We'll have a high of about 73 degrees. Again, normals for this time of year are about 63. So for on Wednesday, we're going to see 10 degrees above normal. 
and we're after a low of about 59. And on Thursday, right ahead of that cold front, very windy conditions for us here. We'll have a high of about 62, so right about normal and 45 degrees. But Christmas morning, look at that, right at 32 degrees, very cold for us here in San Antonio. And for the hill country, you're going to be in a hard freeze. And for your weekend, looks to be absolutely fantastic as we have highs in the upper 50s to the lower 60s. And we'll have very cold mornings right at about 34 and 32 degrees.